वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सिक्स वेरिएबल के मैप इन दिस सेशन सो टू अंडरस्टैंड सिक्स वेरिएबल के मैप फर्स्ट आई गिव यू प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो हियर क्वेश्चन इज सो हियर वी हैव सिक्स वेरिएबल के मैप एंड वी आर डील विथ टू सॉल्व दिस सिक्स वेरिएबल फंक्शन बाय बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग सिक्स वेरिएबल के मैप so here first if you observe there are total 6 variable so n is equals to 6 and as per that total cells that we can say that is 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power 6 means 64 so as if you have 64 cells all we can do is we can take this 2 ab to identify this variables as a 16 cells group so for example if i say we have ab that is 0 0 for example if i say we have ab that is 1 0 one if i say ab that is 1 0 over here and ab that is 1 1 then i can have bisection of this function in 16 group with four different groups right so here all we will be doing is we will bisect this a b c d e f based on 16 group cell where c d e f structure will be as per 16 cells carnot map right so let me draw 16 cell carnot map first so here you can see c d e f is there so c d e f that is having c d which is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 e f will be 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 that is how it is there and similarly this will be there with a b 1 0 a b 0 1 a b 1 1 right so now you can clearly observe see what i have done is i have bisected a b c d e f into a b and c d e f where a b is 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 like this and c d e f that is as per 16 cells k map right that is how i have bisected now first if you want to identify what will be the locations then see ab is 0 0 and cd ef 0 0 so it will start from 0 from over here and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 11 and sorry 10 11 then 12 13 14 and 15 that is how it is increasing after that ab is 0 1 so next 16 will be over here right and then 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 and 31 see that is how it is there after that ab is 1 0 so 32 will start from here so 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 then you see i need to jump this column 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 after that ab is 11 1, so 48 will start from here 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 then 56 57 58 59 then 
61, 62 and 63. See, this is how total 64 cells will be there. Right. Now, all I need to do is, I need to identify what are the locations of 1s. So, it is there at 0, 5, 7. So, 0, then 5, then 7, then 8, then 9, then 12, then 13, then 23. So, 23, I am just speaking, you can listen. 23 means over here, 24, 25, 28, 29, 37. So, 37 that is there in this. So, again, 37 means over here. Then 40, 42, 44, 46, and then 55. So, I need to go in this 55, then 56, then 57, then 60, and 61. Right. So, that is how locations are there. You can clearly observe it. Right. Now, here we need to form a groups. Right. Now, we need to form a groups. And we need to form a group which is largest one. Right. And try to understand this. You can see, see grouping can be done as per this direction. Like these two can be combined. This two can be combined, this two can be combined and this two we can combine, right, to form a largest group. See, this is how it is there. Now, if you observe, first, see this four and this four can be combined together, right, this four and this four that we can combine together and that will form eight cells group. So, I am combining this 4 and this 4 which is forming 8 cells group. So, this is my first group, right. And in this first group, you can observe AB is 0, 1 and 1, 1. So, B is 1 which is common, A is changing, right. So, I can say this is a group which is B, right. After that, we need to see in this as this is same, right? So here, if you observe CD, that is 1, 1, 1, 0. So C is 1, D is changing. And in this, EF is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So E is bar. So B, C, E bar. This is my first group, right? Now I need to see any other group which is possible with largest combination. C this 4 can form a group. This 4 and this 4 can combine on each other, right? This 4 and this 4 that can combine on each other. So, you can observe this 4 and this 4 that is my second group. And that second group is having AB00 and AB01 means first letter is common which is a is 0 means a bar now in this we can see cd that is 1 1 1 0 so c is 1 and ef that is 0 0 0 1 so e is 0 so e bar so second group covers these eight cells right now i need to see what is largest group over here right so for that i see this is a group which is forming four cell group right so this is my third group four cell group and that group is having a b that is one zero means a b bar right and if you observe c d so that is one 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 zero so c is one D is changing and if you observe EF, so that is 0, 0, 
and 10 so f is bar over here so that is how i have third group now i need to see what are other possibilities so now you can observe over here see to have a formation of next group you can see see this one and this one is forming on each other so we can take this as a common group so this is my fourth group now in this fourth group if you observe ab is 0 1 and 1 1 so b is common so b is 1 so b and then cd that is 0 1 means c bar d and ef is 1 1 so ef so that is my fourth group so now this is covered completely now i need to cover this right so over here you can see this and this is getting combined so this is my fifth group now in this fifth group you can see a b is 0 0 1 0 so it is b bar as a is changing and c d is 0 1 so that is c bar d and e f is 0 1 so that is e bar f now i just need this one and this one so this one that i can simply make by this combination right so two cell combination i can have even this and this combination but i'm making this combination so this is my sixth group and that is a b is 0 0 so a bar b bar and then c d that is 0 1 so c bar d and e f is 0 1 and 1 1 so f is 1 so this is sixth group and only this one is required to be covered so i can say this and this cell so that is seventh group and that seventh is having a b that is 0 0 so a bar b bar and then you can see c d that is 0 0 1 0 so d is common so d bar and you can see e f is 0 0 so e bar f bar so that is how total seven group are there and now it covers all ones in this question right it covers all ones in this question so now i need to write this answer so start from first group right so that is b c e bar plus second group so that is a bar c e bar plus third group that is a b bar c f bar plus fourth group that is b c bar d e f plus fifth group that is b bar c bar d e f plus sixth group that is a bar b bar c bar d f plus seventh group that is a bar b bar d bar e bar f bar so this is how we can resolve boolean expression right by having six variable k map so this is what we need to focus about this is the basic process you should follow here i'm explaining you otherwise when you solve it by yourself you will be finding this is a bit faster than this right so just follow the practice 
way that I'm explaining and then you'll be finding this is easier one, right? I hope that you will be under you are understanding all those things which I'm teaching here. Please give your valuable feedback. The reason is your feedbacks only encouraging me and that is highly required to me. Thank you so much for watching this video.